joined here by Chris Cullen, Tottenham fan. Make sure you check out his YouTube as well. Chris, did you get a bit of that one there, or what did you make of that game there? 2 1 Spurs. Lucky. We were lucky. I'll tell you what, if I was a Newcastle fan, I'd be very disappointed because how you haven't even ended up with a point from that game, mm. uh, disappointing. You had much better chances. Um, I suppose at the end of the day, it was just clinical finishing. Um, I, haven't, I would like to see a replay of Jan Vertonghen's goal uh, because that seemed to be very quick. Nine millimetres over the line, apparently. Was it? Really? Nine well, millimetres. Um, and of course, Deli Ali does it again. Great finish. Um, you know, we, we all know Deli Ali, what he can do. Um, but clinical finishing, I suppose. Um, but I think Rondon would be a good player for you this year, mm. and I think he'll grab some goals. So yeah, uh, he looks quite threatening. He did do well. He, like, it, was, it looked like it was going in the bottom corner until Vertonghen got the block, and then again, unlucky that it hit off the ball. Yeah. Uh, but that was the story of our second half. We hit the ball, we hit the post. Kennedy, poor first touch. Yeah. Waste of chances, a bit like quality up front. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think based on on today, you know, your your season should go pretty well. Mm. You know, there there was a lot of effort there today. Um, you know, everyone played really well, and it was just as I say, it was just the finishing. But apart from that, you know, I, I think Spurs were lucky. So an outsider looking in there, you expect Newcastle to do well this season? Yeah. Um, I know, you know, from talking to a lot of Newcastle fans, you're all talking about, you know, just finishing the relegation fight or just above. Mm. I think it'd be uh, mid-table, but it's just, uh, you know, I can't talk about signings because we didn't sign here on ourselves. But <laughs> you got fans in your stadium, though, so that's your excuse. We haven't got one. Yeah, we've got we've got a lot to look forward to. It's very exciting being a Spurs fan, and uh, I think for Tottenham, it's very very important to to get that winning start. Mm. Um, you know, very strong start we need from the first sort of four games or so. But um, yeah, I think we were lucky today, and I'm just delighted that we got the three points. All right, well, that's what you're going for away from home, get the three points on the ball, that's what you want. Yeah. Uh, so, where do you reckon Tottenham will finish the season? Um, I would go with top four. Uh, I think it's going to be quite hard to adapt to our brand new stadium, which looks fantastic. Can't wait to get in there. Um, but regarding the signings, I wasn't too disappointed. I didn't think that we would sign many, if any. Um, because we're just not that type of team that go out and spend, you know, multi millions of pounds on top talent. You know, people were talking about Gareth Bale. I just knew that wouldn't happen because Pochettino is not the sort of manager who brings stars in. He mm. wants to adapt players, develop players. yeah, de develop players, young players. You know, Gre Jack Grealish, uh, everyone was talking about coming in. Um, that didn't happen, but I think we've got a very, very good squad anyway. And you know, we've got a few players out injured at the moment, and it just shows that there is competition there. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to the season. Mm. Daniel Lowry is a bit like Mike Ashley in the way he, like, he doesn't really spend X amount. Well, you, to be fair, you're saying fucking Musa Sissoko from us for 30 million, like. <laughs> so we've never had the half of You were more delighted about <laughs> that than us. <laughs> had a double hour transfer record fee, but what do you make looking at Newcastle there under Mike Ashley? What's your stance on his I think ownership? I, I really do think it's such a shame. You know, every time I visit Newcastle, I've got a soft spot for Newcastle. I love coming here, it's one of my favourite grounds to visit. And every single time I come here, I think, why are you not? pushing for, for major things, mm. you know, and doing, doing major things, going, you know, in the top four and spending the money. I, ju I don't understand it. I really don't. Mm. So, you know, you, sh you should be up there. You should be challenging. Mm. Well, we can only hope, mate, for a new owner. That, who Bring does, back uh, Kevin Keegan. <laughs> <laughs> right, cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Bye.